Hey everyone, this is Blanche SB. Welcome to another Serpents 3 introductory tutorial video. In the last video, we were able to create a pop up panel using the on key press node. And in this video, we're going to create a pie menu. And if you've ever used other add ons like Fluent or Box Cutter, you'll notice that pie menus can be very useful and effective in working in a workflow. So let's go ahead and dive right in and get started. Now, pie menus typically use an on key press note as well. So go ahead and add that. And if you don't know how, you can do Shift A. Turn on my screencast keys, Shift A, and then go to the events. And you have on key press. Bring that in, and we're going to use uh, Alt Y. And in this, this time, we're going to set this to any space. So it doesn't matter where you are in Blender. Um, when you click on this key map, you're going to create your own pie menu and make it show up. So we want to change the operator over to pie menu. And you can default select a pie menu if you like that's already built inside of Blender. But in this case, we're going to be creating our own. Now, you have to create a pie menu first. So I've got a pie menu node here. And to add a pie menu node, you just go to Shift A, Interface, Pie Menu. And we come in like that, go ahead and give it a label. And then once that's been created, you can click on this Blender icon and go to Custom. Click on the node graph where your pie menu lives. So this is my node graph here. And then click on the pie menu that you want to choose. Now in my pie menu, I'm going to be creating just a simple operator. And since we haven't done our own operators yet, we're going to create one today. So we want to have buttons on our pie menu. And I've already built the buttons up to try to save time on the video. It's all the same button, to be honest. So you just have to create an operator node. And you just do that by going to the Add menu. And then you go to Program and Operator. Once you add that in, go ahead and give it a name. And for simplicity's sake, we're just going to report. And what this reporting does is it post down at the footer, and I'm just printing out a message. So once we have the operator created, all we have to do now is add in some buttons. And to add a button, you just go to Shift A, Interface, and Button. And we're not going to paste any operators that are built into Blender. We're going to change this down to Custom. Go find your node graph where your operator lives. In this case, the operator lives on the Have Some Pi. And I just select my first operator. Now I've already built this operator and duplicated it nine times. And I've just given them each one different labels. Try to teach about the pie menu itself. And when you're making just simple buttons, you don't have anything else really going on. Uh, this is the structure for the pie menu. When I call this pie menu with the shift or the alt Y key, the very first button is going to be the left and the next one's going to be right. Then you go to bottom, top, it's kind of like crisscross. And then we do a, a crisscross as well where we go top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Now I've got this laid out as a template for you, just to show you what each one of these does. Now because I'm using um, the, the cut noodles here, we have these little sockets that help you align your node noodles. If you, if you disconnect this guy, and now I call my pie menu. Everything has been offset because the latest button is the, this one is the first. And if I want to join this back in, if I do it directly from my pie menu, it'll work fine. But if I'm using these cut noodles, then I have to recompile because it won't update. So just shift R to recompile, or you can click on the compile button. And after you recompile, it'll all be fixed. So let's try out our pie menu. There we go. It's that simple. Hope you enjoyed this video, and in the next video, we'll be covering more things to do with menus, and we'll catch you on the next one. 